Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and did you know that Pokemon have officially designated colors? If you didn't know, that wouldn't surprise me. They're basically only used as a search method in the Pokedexes, and they're not even in every generation's Pokedex. But they are official designations within the main series games, and I'm making this video today because some of them are kinda weird. A little while ago, my very wonderful patron, Benjamin Lambert, sent me this message that said, hey Michael, I had an idea I thought might make a fun Pokemon video for your channel. I was looking through the Pokedex on home and noticed you can filter by color. And a lot of Pokemon seem to be in categories that don't make sense, like Applin being primarily green or Drudigan being primarily red. I thought it might be fun to go through the whole decks and point out which ones probably fit in better somewhere else. So, put simply, that is what I will be doing in today's video, going through the Pokedex on Pokemon Home and seeing which Pokemon are designated as a particular color that doesn't make very much sense. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because apparently 64% of my watch time comes from people who are not subscribed. Hop to it and let's dive into finding out some Pokemon whose colors don't make really any sense. So here we are on my Pokemon Home Pokedex and I'm able to look through the color data for all Pokemon because I've completed it, except Kabfu. <sighs> I didn't think to move Kabfu from my sword into Pokemon Home before evolving it. So I don't have that dex entry, but it's fine. I looked it up, it's designated as gray, which is, it's normal, it's not interesting. Plus I can get this entry later whenever I play through shield. So it's gonna be fine. This is a bit of a tangent, but I still don't know what to do with my shield. I bought it alongside sword when it came out, but sword I downloaded in shield, I bought the cartridge and I'm, I'm not even unsealed the package. I haven't touched the game because I haven't really known what to do with it. I'm like, do I play through regularly on my own time and just use Pokemon I think are cool that I didn't use on my team in Sword and wanted to use on a team? Or should I make some kind of content about it? Like a Let's Play or a playthrough challenge video, a playthrough challenge Let's Play, or should the Let's Play just be my regular playthrough? Would anyone even watch that? I don't know. I'm going on too long about this, but if any of you guys have any suggestions for how you would want to see me play through S.H.I.E.L.D. If you would at all, saying you wouldn't care is fine. Just let me know down in the comments below if you see somebody else suggest something you like, upvote their comment, you know. I'm crowdsourcing my decisions here. <laughs> but anyways, let's filter these Pokemon by color. Oh, it was near the top. There you go, color. Now the first thing you'll notice here is that there is no orange. And I hate that. You got the primary colors, red, blue, yellow, and then you've got only two of the secondary colors, purple and green. Like, why is there no orange? Uh, according to the Bulbapedia article, a lot of orange Pokemon end up designated as red or as brown, which I just, is not like the red and brown are distinctly different. So like, according to this, Charmander and Voltorb are both red. Charmander is not red, Charmander is orange. So that's an immediate flaw with this method, but we're just gonna have to keep that in mind. So essentially, if a Pokemon is orange, it can count as red or as brown, just due to the limited system they created. But if we look here, yeah, they're Charmander, orange, Charmeleon's very red, another orange one. Vileplume is interesting. So the color designations are basically whether or not, it's basically the, the most prominent color on them. And Vileplume, yes, red is very clearly a prominent color, but so is blue. It's like kind of 50-50. So I, I, I guess the flowers are, I, we'll let this one slide. Paris is reddish orange. You are very red. You are orange. You are orange. You two are very red. Oh, okay, I'm not sure I agree with this. I think Goldeen is more white than it is red slash orange. I think Goldeen should have been put in the white category. Also, uh, 
Also, I wanted to say, I considered scripting this video. I'm like looking it up and scripting it afterward, but then I decided against it because I thought it would be more fun to capture my reactions for the ones that just don't make any sense. So that is why you're just getting me talking off the top of my head. Seeking, again, it's really, it's a lot of white. Yeah, I'm, uh, it's closer than Goldeen, but still I'm not sure about this. Jinx, Jinx could be, uh, could be purple as well, but it's mostly red, so this is fine. Magmar, yeah, red's fine. You are red. You are orange. You are red, 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 orange, red, red, red. What? Dude, what? This thing is pink. Yeah, it's hot pink. It's not like pale pink like Clefairy, but I don't, I'm not, I, I don't agree with putting this in the red category. Magni, red enough. Ho-Oh, yeah, Ho-Oh's red enough. Torchic, orange, well, half orange, half yellow. Honestly, I would have put Combuskin in yellow. If there's no orange, just go with the other color. <laughs> Blaziken, very red. Wurmple, red. Again, hot pink. I feel like Metacham should have been in the pink. Yeah, I, I don't think I agree with that. Wow, Carvana really is equal parts of red, blue, and yellow. <laughs> it's the Gen 1 Pokemon. That's in Gen 3. Orange, orange. Uh, closer to red. You are very red. You are orange and amazing. Hell yeah. Wow, sun yeah. Red, red, very orange. Eh, close enough. Excuse me? These are pink, okay? Like the other ones, like Metacham and Porygon 2 is like, okay, it's hot pink. It's closer to red than like pale pink. These are so clearly pale pink. These are so pink. How are these in red? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Magmortar's red, yeah. Porygon Z, same color as Porygon 2. Makes sense that it's here. Orange. Orange, 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 red, red, yeah, red, yeah, it's red. It's clothes are white. <laughs> red, red, pretty red, yep, okay. Not seeing any I disagree with. Honestly, you could have gone in gray, but I think it's fine. I guess, well, no, okay, is the rock part of its body? So I guess that's fair. You are the same situation. Very orange, that's nah, trend on pink territory, you too. You two are uh, not, I think I would have put you in pink. And then, okay, here's here's the one that uh, that Benjamin mentioned, Drudigan. Yes, Drudigan has red on its body. It's supposed to be the most prominent color. Blue is absolutely the most prominent color on Drudigan. It should not be in the red category. Just cause its face is red, doesn't mean the rest of it is. Good with this, good with that. Yeah, you're, you're, it, it looks less red than it actually is because you can't see the backside of the close wing, but Braviary's got a lot of red on it. Heat more, yes. Oh, this is wrong. You, you two are, you two are yellow. <laughs> like, yeah, the ears are orange and orange a lot, it clearly goes into red, but these are, these should absolutely be in yellow. Delphox, Delphox is much more red than Brakes and Urfanikin. I don't know if they just put this, put the first two in red because Delphox was, but they really shouldn't be here. Um, I only have a couple of them, but these two are both red, so they're fine. Tyrantrum, oh, is Tyrantrum, this is a, Tyrantrum's like halfway between like red and brown. It's like a reddish brown. It could have gone in brown too. I don't, no, I don't, I think it, it's fine. You are red, you are mostly black, honestly. I feel like Litten should have been in the black category. Because, yeah, okay, it's got a red face. I mean, I guess it's fine. Toracat, Toracat's got a lot more orange on it. Incineroar does as well, so I'm fine with this. This Oracorio's here. Lycanroc, this Minior. I'm realizing different forms have different categorizations. I was under the impression that like a single species would just have the same, like its most common form. I think they might've used to do that and they got more specific in home. So I might have some forms missing, uh, my bad. Uh, but I've got most of them. Tapu Bulu, I mean, it's its shell is red, but its body's, I feel like this should have been in the black category. Yeah, you're very red. This original color is very red. Or Beetle, Sizzlipede, Centiscorch, Zamazenta. Okay, so we have finished the red category and there were quite a few Pokemon in here that I didn't think should be here. All right, so now we change the color to blue. And let us get, so I guess scroll back up to the top. All right, Squirtle. Yes. 
Yep. Agree with this. Go with that. You are, yeah, that's more blue. You know, this is, it's like Periwinkle. Like the cat in Blue's Clues. Uh, which I guess is closest to blue. Yeah, that's blue, definitely blue. Very light blue, treading on white. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. Oddish and Gloom are in blue because their bodies are blue. But I guess Vileplume's flower got big enough to where it gets classified as a red Pokemon. So that's an interesting change. This is blue? That's another Periwinkle color, I guess. I feel like that's more gray, honestly. I guess it depends on their definition of gray. Golduck, yeah, the Polys, that's very normal. Tentacool, Tangela, Horsey, yep, I don't disagree with any of these so far. I mean, the this they could have gone in brown because like their shell is honestly most of it, but they, I'm, I'm noticing they, they tend to show preference toward what color the Pokemon's face is, like with Drudigan. So if the face is blue, I guess I get it. More Periwinkle. <laughs> Dragonair, yep. All these guys are blue. A lot of water types. Uh, their their record is much better so far because there's no orange infecting it. What? Okay, I take it back. What the hell are these two doing here? Okay, I guess the I guess the I've always thought of them as Taylo and Swello as black. I guess it does have a bit of a bluish tint to it. So I guess I have to accept this, but I've always thought these were I, I, when I think of Talo, I just think of, or Swellow, I just think of them as black birds with red and white parts. So that's, that's weird to me. What are you doing here? Masquerine, no. No, you are not blue. Your body, I guess, is like the really pale blue that's really close to white, but the, the wings and the face, I don't know if I would've put these here. The, what are you doing? You guys are purple. These are purple. I will die on that hill. Loudred and Eggsplat are purple and are not blue. Maybe. I've been judged for my incorrect color analysis more than once. But uh, I've always, I just think of these as purple. Are they a different shade in other art? Okay, I'm looking at it on my phone and Eggsplat in the anime looks far more purple than it does here. So yeah, Exploud, I, I absolutely could go in purple. Cause this art, it's like, kind of like a pale indigo. An anime, it's definitely purple. Azrael is blue, Metatite, mm, I guess, yes, it does have blue on its body, but it's also a lot of white. I feel like it could have gone in white. It's got a big head. It's a big white head. Uh, <laughs> sounds like I just called it a pimple. <laughs> Torpedo, yep, you're blue. You are blue, you are a different shade of blue, but you are still blue. Yeah, the cloud wings are a lot of white, but the body's very blue. Rain, yeah. Ex what? <laughs> Chimeco! All right, this one, no. Some of the pale blues, I'm like, okay, yeah, it's a little blue. Chimeco is white. Chimeco is flat out white. It doesn't have a blue bone in its body. I don't actually know if it has any bones in its body but it is not blue. I will, this is another hill I will die on. Chimeco belongs in, in the white category. Why not? Yep, you guys are blue. I, none of you have upset me so far. Yes, yes. Blue, yes, more blue. Yes, the blue electric Pokemon, you're very good. Shellos and Gastrodon, yes indeed. It was a pale blue. Goodbye, Tizza. More middle ground blue and Garchomp is treading on purple. <laughs> but I, I think I'm still okay with it being blue. Rio blue. Blue Cario. <laughs> Why do I think that's funny? Krogunk. Here's the weird Toxicroak situation. Toxicroak in the sprites is the same shade of blue and or, or yeah, okay, never mind. Toxicroak's like inflation sack and claws, they are red, but like a lot of people talk about this. Toxicroak's color is wildly inconsistent between the anime and like, so all, all the home sprites are based on the official Sugimori art. Look at the color of this Toxicroak compared to its official Sugimori art. It's very different. <laughs> this one looks shiny. Okay, I thought that might show the shiny, it's just like, <laughs> this is fun, look at that, it looks like it's a, 
Like it's breathing. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's Toxicroak. It's still mostly blue, you know? It's just a weird, the Toxicroak color situation is odd. Blue, 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 blue. You are all fine. So far you are fine. I haven't noticed any Pokemon that I disagree with. Maybe Gigalith. Gigalith is kind of purple, I don't know what was it, navy? I should know this, Gigalith's one of my favorite Pokemon, but I guess you're blue enough. Wubat, blue is, really has a range of like navy to like cyan in its, in its coloration. Yeah, okay, gen five, good stretch. You, that's a weird color. Can we just talk about how weird this color is? Part green, part blue. I guess it's got enough blue in its account. There's, that's blue. I would have called, I would have called LGM gray. I don't know about that. It's a light gray, but that looks more gray to me. You're blue. Yep, blue, blue. I'm blue. Da ba dee, da ba die, da ba dee. Don't want to get copyright strikes, so I should probably stop singing copyrighted songs. But yeah. Another weird shade of blue with you. Well, more metal. That's blue. I feel like that's closer to purple in my opinion. Clauncher, Clawitzer, yes, yes. Mara Aurora's Bergmite, very pale blue, but I would still classify it as blue. Both forms of Xerneas are indeed blue. Vigabolt? Oh, that's just like, oh yeah, its coloring is the same as uh, Electric and Electros, where it's like halfway between like dark blue and dark green. So I guess it works. Wishy-washy? Okay, this wishy-washy is very clearly blue. This one I feel like is much more white. And I know they can do different colorations for different forms, but still, I feel like I would've put it in, put it in white. Yeah, a lot of blue on it. Could've gone blue or purple. You would have a lot more blue than purple, so yeah. The blue mini or the blue core is blue. <laughs> and the indigo core, that is not indigo. Can I just say that's just blue, but more saturated. This is pale blue, that is honestly normal blue. Yeah, indigo is much darker in my opinion. All right, you are blue. Uh, your top's blue, your bottom's purple. <laughs> do they go by the booty or do they go by the top? <laughs> yeah, I guess enough blues there to count. All right, we're, we're here to gen eight. Uh, another weird pale indigo thing. Blue, yep, yeah, blue. I guess if you're icy, you're blue. <laughs> All right, there we go, blue's done. Now we move on to green. Move back to the top, please. All right, there we go. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is a weird Pokemon. <laughs> In some art, it's very, its body is very blue. Some art, they made its body much more green. They were like, it's the grass starter. It shouldn't be so freaking blue. Kind of like Squirtle. Squirtle's hue has changed over the years. But I guess the like, hey, well, you, you guys' bodies are still very blue. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure about this, but I guess they're like, they're the grass starters. They should be in the green category. Caterpie, Metapod, Bellsprout. Bellsprout should be, you guys should be yellow. I'm sorry, I know your grass types, I know you have leaves on your body, but the most prominent part of your biology, the actual pictures, that is, are yellow. They should be in yellow. You're very colorful. <laughs> you are a lot of colors altogether. Uh, we'll accept green because it's your head, I guess. Well, sometimes it's your head, it like moves. Anyways, Scyther, Jigarita, you are yellow. Bayleaf is yellow. I will die on this hill. Get Bayleaf out. I don't like that it's here. <laughs> it is not green enough to be in this category. You are though. Spinarak. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Tyranitar and Larvitar. Yeah, they're green. They're like a pale green, but they are still green. My boys! Hello. You're all green fighting machines. Dustox has a lot of green on its wings. Yeah, could have gone in purple too. Ludicolo. Yeah, it's hands and legs. Yeah, it's a lot of yellow as well, but I, I guess green is fine. Yep, green, green. Green's got some interesting shades too. Yeah, this is green enough because the its body is tan, which is like, is that brown? Is that yellow? I don't really know. But since its wings are green, putting it in green. I accept that for Vibrava. Yeah, you guys are you guys are green enough. These burn <laughs> the this Burmian worm and Am are actually in the right category. What? On earth are these two doing here? In what universe is Bronzong green? Well, when it's shiny. When it's shiny, it's, 
it's green. But these two, like Bronzong, blue or gray. This Bronzor, like yeah, I get Pokemon have different colorations depending on the shading and whether it's the anime or a sprite or the games or whatever. But this is so blue. <laughs> that is so clearly blue. There's not a hint. It's not like a Vikavolt situation where it's part of the way between blue and green. This is so blue. This might be the most egregious misplacement we've seen so far. These two, more Bronzor than Bronzong, but like, oh my God, I can't believe these are in here. Wah, I can't get over that. What are you doing? Carnivine, yep, yeah, all right, we're back to, okay, you're, Leafyon, you're pretty yellow, pretty tan, yellowish tan, brown, I guess, maybe, brown or yellow. There's a lot more of that on you than green, so I don't know about that. You got enough green. I get, this one's white. Or this one should be white is what I mean to say. This form should be white. Yeah, all right, we're back to, Unova's got a lot of good classification going on here. Unova's got, uh, Unova seems to be more consistent with its colorations. Yeah, your face is green. It's like Travis is green, you're green. You got a lot of brown on you, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, these are all pretty good. Actually, where's, where's Haxorus? Haxorus is like the most green of all of them. We're gonna find Haxorus. We're, we're gonna end up finding Haxorus in some ridiculous other color later, aren't we? You are way more gray than green. I don't agree with this. Yeah, you got green footsteps on you, but your body is like 75% gray. What? More of them? You guys are blue. There are Pokemon the exact same shade as you two that are in the blue category. What are you doing in green? All right, so these, Chessman, yeah, it's got enough green on it. I guess it's fine. Brown would work too, but it's got a lot of green. You got some green. You're, you're a lot of white slash tan. Only your coloration was better, but yeah, I guess this, it's all right. They really want their grass starters in the green category, don't they? What? Okay, I guess it's face and it's wings. This is another one where it's like all the three main colors are very equally distributed. There's like an equal amount of red, white, and green. So I guess that one's fine. Zygarde, yeah, very green. Ooh, okay. This is the, these two, their their legs and stuff are, are lime green. So I guess that counts as green. Very much treading on yellow, but I guess we'll let that slide. Comfey, yeah, its body is green. The flowers are confusing, but I guess the, the primary part of its body is, is good. Delmize, yeah, that's enough, that's enough green. It's a bluish green, but it is, I guess that can, well, oh, I can accept this. Celestila, yeah, very green. Yeah, you guys are green, very different shades of green. A lot of brown, but green enough. I do not agree with this. <laughs> that is a lot more yellow and red than it has that almost weird green on its body. Don't agree with that. You should be in red or yellow. Eldegoss, okay, no, you guys are, these are blue. What is it with them putting very clearly blue Pokemon in the green category? They're so blue, like a light blue, yeah, but oh my gosh. And then here's Applin, yeah. Okay, Flapple can be green, Applin should not be. Well, I guess, I guess maybe, Benjamin mentioned it. I guess maybe they're here because their body, its body is green, it's just living in the apple. But you could say the same for Burmy, then Burmy should be in black. But these two, absolutely not. This, yeah, really is a lot more red. You have a lot of red too. Uh, hmm. You can be green. What is wrong with the green category? You two are brown. So brown. Brown is an option. We got brown spots. You got a brown neck thing. Your body's tan, which is kind of brown. Not green. Your eyes are green. Your eyes are green and that is it. This is a recent Pokemon too. What, what, what? Oh wow, lot of, lot of, lot of creamy forms. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's just all the, all the matcha cream ones. Okay. Caparaja is the same color. It's Vigavolt, but ended up in green, which is weird. Yep, you got a lot of green on you. You got a lot of green on you. I think if it more is a blue Pokemon just because of its face, but the the body is a lot of 
a lot of green. Yep, you're green. You're uh, very middle ground. And so are you. Honestly, I don't know if I think, I don't know, uh, Dragon Ball really shouldn't be here. It should be, it could go in black or blue. I don't think its tail is green enough. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. This one's a if you want. But my gosh, several in green just completely wrong. Now we're on to yellow. So far, I guess you're uh, yellowish orange, I guess. If you don't have orange, you can come here. That's just the gender difference, okay? I thought it might be the Alola form or something. Yep, all right. The, these pale tan Pokemon, yeah, see? I, I thought tan could go in yellow. I thought it could, clearly it can, as evidenced by these two and Persian and Meowth and stuff. Okay, no, this is ridiculous. What are, what, what? Brown or green? Okay, its heads are yellow, yes, but that's like the smallest part of its body. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah, Moltre, yeah, yeah, it's yellow. <laughs> Yeah, see the, this like this like pale tan color. I guess is a pale yellow. So yeah, these are these are primarily yellow. I'm I'm good with the Typhlosion line being there. Your face, yeah, you can be yellow. You could have been green too, but you can absolutely be yellow. Yeah, this is another half and half one, half yellow, half red. Ooh, I don't know if I agree with this. Like the the yellow on the the wings is like clearly there, but most of its body is like gray. Most of its body and its wings is gray. So I think it. I think beautiful. I should have been gray. Yeah, Pelipper is yellow because its mouth is so big. <laughs> Ninjask, yellow enough. Yeah, you're good. You two, uh, uh, pale tan color. Okay, Vibrava could have gone in yellow. Ooh, I don't know. Is that yellow enough? I guess. I guess they're calling if it's like a tan. It's a pale tan color. It's yellow. All right, I'm good with. I'm good with these. I haven't seen any egregiously ones I disagree. Well, okay, you're. Uh, I probably would have put you in green myself. But your face is yellow, so I guess we'll let that slide. So far, so, so acceptable. They put Haxorus in yellow. That's where they put him. Haxorus ain't yellow. This art of Haxorus here makes it so much lighter than it appears elsewhere. Elsewhere, it appears much darker and therefore looks much more green. Like this shade of body, yes, I can see how this could be put into yellow, but other Haxorai are much more green. Like an, it looks almost kind of like an like an army green. Is that right? Like a pale, like a light army green. Yeah, kind of. But I I wouldn't have put this in yellow. You're good. You are good. Continental pattern. Okay, I guess forms of Vivian I do not have are still in here, so that's cool. Yeah, no, no disagreements. There's that tan again. I guess tan is, is yellow. <laughs> no issues here, I don't think. Oh, q is orange. I guess it ended up in yellow this time. All right, now we move on to pink. Let's see what pink Pokemon are here that were not red enough to go in red. Yeah, okay, so I was right. It's a lot of very pale pink, like Porygon 2 and Porygon Z much more hot pink, which is closer to red. Personally, I still, it's called hot pink, it's not called hot red, but yeah, clearly the, the pink Pokemon are favored by being a paler shade. Okay. No. Let's look at the part of this Milotic, okay? Its hair is hot pink. Honestly, more red than hot pink. So if you were going by its hair, you'd put it in red. Like, like Porygon 2 and Porygon Z, their bodies are much more pink than Milotic's hair. Yet they are in red and Milotic is in pink. The rest of Milotic's body, half of it's the, like the same color as Persian, who is in yellow. And then the other half of it is very clearly blue. Milotic, you are not pink. Get your beautiful wormy butt out of this color category. Although the other Hoenn Serpentine feminine Pokemon is, does, it makes sense here. Yep, you make sense. Yeah, you're pink enough. Yellow uh, also would have worked. Yep, pink, okay, okay. I, I didn't, I kind of skimmed past Yuxi. The Lake Guardians maybe could have gone in gray or is that pale blue? I don't know. I think, I guess it's the right decision to go by their face and hair. It's not hair, but it looks like it. All right, a lot of logical Pokemon. Haven't run. Okay, you also could have been white. Yeah, pink, pink, half pink, half green. So I guess that's fine. Much more pink. 
so that's fine. Valerci, yeah, pink face, yeah, pink, pink, very pale pink, but you can stay. Okay, so Milotic was basically the only egregious error in this category. Now we shift to purple. Probably gonna be several Pokemon I think should have been in blue. So far, you're good. You are not, you are very purple. So are you, a lot of poison types. Very purple, very purple. I would put these in blue. I knew there would be some. I mean, okay, so these guys, their their bodies are blue, their wings are purple. This is like the Beautifly situation, you know? Like, yes, there is enough of, there is some of this color on their body, but their primary bodies are blue, so I would have put them in blue. Yeah, okay. A lot of, lot of correct ones, I would say. Moving on. Yeah, that's a shade of purple. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with a little Marowak being here. Mewtwo is, yeah, purple enough. Some art makes its body more of like a purplish hue. Some of it just like makes it just white. Um, but its tail is always some shade of purple. So it, purple makes sense for it. Crobat is the purple, very purple one of that line. Manta, oh, I would have put it in blue. What is its belly here? I've always thought it's like face and belly were just white. And then its back was like navy. They gave it a bit of a purplish tint here, but I don't know, Mantine. Mantine I don't think belongs here. Yep, okay, you're purple, you're purple. You are, yeah, I guess you're, your boa is purple, but your face and belly are blue. And I, that could have gone in blue, but I guess this is fine. Super purple, pretty purple. Some of the shading on these Pokemon, why are you so pale, Grumpig? You're so much darker in other art. Lyleaf, yeah, purple, purple. Ooh, I would've put you two in pink. You are a lot paler than the other Pokemon here. Like, look at this compared to this. That is purple, that is pink. These two should be in pink. Purple enough, purple enough, yeah. Very purple, paler purple. Okay, yeah, you're, yeah, this is, this is wrong. <laughs> you, Scor, Scorapi, Scorupi, however you wanna say it is so blue. Purple, my boy, Gliscor. He's a purple boy. Palkia, it's a lot of white, but it's a lot of purple too, so I guess that's fine. Purple, purple. Oh no, you. Gothitelle has a purple face and purple hands, and literally the rest of its body is black with some white garnishes. Like, Gothita, sure. Its head, most of its body. But Gotharita and Gothitel do not have enough purple to justify them being here. They should be in black. Yeah, you're purple enough. Yep, purple. What a lovely pattern, elegant. Purple, purple, purple. Yep, okay, so far, so good. Uh, hot pink, there's not a hot pink one. Make up your mind about what category hot pink belongs into. I think it should be pink. Apparently it can be red, purple, or pink. The brawler is very purple. Yeah, that's like a lavender, which is Close to purple. Uh, okay, you I get. You I'm less sure. I feel like this is an oddish situation. Okay, I don't know about this. This coloration is, yes. Does it have some purple in it? Yes, but it also looks like it's pink in it. But overall, I think it's closer to red than other Pokemon. So I don't think I would have put these here. Purple, yes. Purple, yes. Purple, yes. Purple? I guess, yeah. The, uh. Corviknight's honestly like the same color as Swellow, which they put into blue. Yeah, this is a confusing color. It's like navy with a bit of purple dropped in. Yeah, Corviknight, Corviknight's confusing. Very purple. All of you are purple. Yes, very purple. Yeah, the body itself is purple. Yeah, I'm good with that. Another like dark navy situation. Like navy, yeah, what color is that? It's hard to pinpoint, so I, I can't make judgments on that. Same colors here. Is that navy? Is it dark blue? What color is this? I guess that's close to purple. Yeah. Man, that's like a navy with a bit of purple tossed in. So I'm like, I'm having trouble with that. I guess that's close enough. All right, only four colors left to go. Starting with brown. Weedle is indeed. I agree with Weedle. Pidgey, yes. Uh, looks more like the, the tan yellow color, but its back is very brown, so these, these two make sense. Brown, yes, yes. I agree with, I guess that's fine. Another orange one. I said earlier that orange Pokemon are kind of split between brown and red, so there's gonna be some orange ones in here. This is brown? I always thought that was more gray. Okay, 
weird. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Another orange Pokemon. What? These are brown? No. No, okay, no, these, this art makes them so much darker than usual, but in most images of these, of this line, they are super yellow. Yeah, like I'm looking at pictures of Alakazam right now and it's official Sugimori art and it's Pokemon Go art are super yellow. Like, yeah, some art of Alakazam does make it darker like this, but I feel like most of the time it's represented like being very yellow. Although I suppose maybe they were like, ah, the, the shades of its body change too much. It's face and mustache stuff. So like it's knee pads and sleeves and football pads, honestly. Well, those are brown. We'll go with that, I guess. Geodude, Graveler, and Golem are like a brownish gray. So I guess that's fine. Yeah, don't disagree with any of these Pokemon. So far, brown, another orange one. Another orange one that's in brown. Should have just had an orange category, guys. Another orange one. But the rest of the Pokemon I'm scrolling past so far, like primarily brown, I don't have issue with so far. Uh, okay, man, I don't know about this one. I feel like, that's, I feel like that same color was in yellow, but beggars came to be choosers, I guess. Brown, brown, yep. Yeah. Hariyama's a lot going on. <laughs> it's like light gray, orange hands, blue legs, yellow skirt. It's not a skirt. I know it's not, but it kind of looks like one. Yeah, I guess they went the hands, it's like orange, therefore brown. So somehow this Pokemon with all of these colors ended up with a category that is not any of its colors. <laughs> Another orange one, spin, this, okay, I know, this Spinda art makes it look very red. A lot of Spinda art is more orange. Yeah, I don't know, this is this is a tough one. Definitely orange. Yep, brown, brown. Tan and orange. Orange, orange, orange. This is brown? I guess it's like, oh man. It looks so gray though. <laughs> Like, look at the color of the normal emblem and look at the color of Staraptor's body. That's, that's, that's pretty gray. It's a gray area. <laughs> like, Bidoof, clearly brown. This, I don't know if I'd call it brown. I feel like I'd call that gray. Yep, there's Burmy, that's, that's gray. No Sandy Cloak. Armadam? Do I don't have that form in here somehow? No, wait, no, it has forms for... The other Vivian. Where is Sandy Cloak Wormadam gonna be? Orange, orange, brown, 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 brown. Okay. No. Hippowdon should not be here. The male form is gray and yellow. The female form is just gray. Neither of these are brown. Mamoswine is brown. Heatran, yeah, that, that's pretty brown. Sometimes it looks a lot more red but I think I'm okay with this here. Brown, brown, brown. It is a lot of brown Pokemon. Unova tends to be okay. Yeah, okay, that's a little brown. Yeah, I guess it's a little brown. Yeah, Landorus is brown and orange, so both of it's going, <laughs> it's gonna be here. Yeah, gray and brown, but the gray has a bit of a brownish tint. Archipelago, brown. Yeah, body is brown. Mane is not, but body is brown. Brown with a uh, green clothing. Brown. Okay, no. okay. Aegislash is very yellow. Aegislash should not be here. These two, an argument could be made. It's not typical brown. It's like a weird tan. I get these, Aegislash is super yellow. Brown, okay, yep. Yeah. These are, these are making sense. I don't disagree with the, what? This is so red. It's so red. What are you doing here? It's so red. All right, yep, yeah, okay. I guess these guys, yeah, okay, it's tan, yeah. Decidueye could have been tossed in green because of the hood, but yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of brown. I think those make sense here. All the ones I'm going over make sense. These are orangish brown, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, or, I guess the tan can be either yellow or brown, but since this has orange on its body, it goes in brown. Okay, Berserker's body is looks more a lot more brown than Galarian 
Well, maybe, I don't know. These ones are weird. All right, gray. The true gray area, and I can already see there's gonna be some Pokemon that are kind of a weird fit. <laughs> there's gonna be some Pokemon in here that like, the same color was in blue. <laughs> but so far, you're gray? You're the same color as regular Golem. Yeah, okay, these are gray. That is much closer to blue or green, I feel like. Same with you. Maybe yeah, I could be green or gray, I mean. Oh, Steelix has a gender difference? Wow, this is the first time learning of it. The males have two fangs and the females only. Wow, I didn't even know that. What? Again, this Pokemon is the same color as Vikavolt, which was halfway between blue and green. But Quillfish also has a lot of its body, half one would argue, that is like a lime greenish yellowish color. I don't think it could, it could have been in green, maybe even blue, maybe. Could have been in yellow. I don't think it should be gray. Remoraid, yeah, I get it. Yeah, okay, these are these are clearly very gray. Yep, I, I agree with that. And then Kata, wait, no, I think Kata should be white. You're gray. Yeah, it's, they're like silver and like dark gray, which are both like types of gray, I guess. Okay, so this is weird. Illumise was in purple because of the color of its neck boa and like arm and leg rings. Volbeat is the same Pokemon, yet is in gray, not red. Why were they inconsistent with that? Barboach is gray. Anorith, that looks more green than gray to me. I don't know about you, that's a greenish gray. Although I guess the middle part of its body is very gray. So yeah, I guess I gotta give it to that. Armaldo, I, th I think that's blue. There are plenty of Pokemon in the blue category that are the same color as Armaldo. Should've been blue. Cast form. Hell yeah. Snow Run is gray with yellow, so yes, that's fine. Glalie is black and white. Why are you in gray? I guess they're just like, well, it's F black, it's F white, we'll put it in gray. <laughs> I don't get that at all. Don't get that at all. Relicant is brown. Come on, guys. Relicant is very clearly brown. Registeel, yeah, gray. Shield on, face is gray, body's yellow, half and half. Fast eat on, same situation. Glammeow is, that's a bluish gray. Again, I feel like I saw Pokemon in the blue category that were the same color as this. Magnezone is gray. Yeah, yeah, that was one of the ones I saw on the list. I'm like, what the hell is Rhyperior doing here? Rhyperior is brown and orange. Orange counts as brown in this system. You, sh it should be in the brown category. Probopass, ooh, that gray is pretty blue. And it's also got a lot of red. I don't know about this one. Okay, that looks blue to me. Herdier, Herdier looks brown with blue on its tail and body. I, I don't agree with this. Stoutland, an argument could be made because the bottom part is much more gray, but this thing is blue and brown. Pick one of those two, not gray. Very gray, very gray, very gray. Weird blue and kind of brown. But that's more, these two look more brown than gray to me, but when you get the darker colors like that, they, they're harder to compare. They, they like, it's harder to tell the difference, you know? But yeah, gray enough. Gray enough. Whirlipede is purple. Whirlipede is a pale purple. I don't agree with it being gray. I guess Zerua looks more bluish or purple than Zoroark, but it's it's a tougher color to judge, so I guess gray's fine. Zoroark, body's definitely gray. Okay, yeah, Mincino gray, yep, yep, gray, gray. I agree with all of these. I agree with all of these. Yes, yes. You're on a, you're on a better, okay, this has a little bit of a purplish tint, but not enough to disqualify. What? Grubbin is white, orange, yellow, and brown. None of those colors are gray. Yeah, gray enough. Glycopod is a weird color that I don't really know how to define, so I guess gray is fine. Gray enough. Closer to white, honestly. Oh, this is cool, they got all of them in there, but yeah, closer to white. Definitely gray, definitely gray, definitely gray, definitely gray. Yep, I love Marshadow, sorry, that's why I paused on it. <laughs> Gray, I guess. I feel like its head's white, its body's reddish orange, black, white, and gray, so gray's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I knew gray was gonna be a weird one. A lot of weird colors. All right, yes, all right. 
Good so far. Good amount of, what? Mareep is yellow, it's so yellow. Yellow with a blue body. No, no, no. Mareep, get out of here. You are not in the proper category. Glaring Corsola, yep. What? Linoon, you are so, okay, this one, yes. Half white, half black, they picked white. But this one is brown. White, white, yep. Okay. Gardevoir, this this line is like a lot of white, a lot of green. They picked white, which is fine with me. The, this one? The, excuse me, snowy form? No, no, it's the hail form, hail yeah. This is white, its body is like purple. It's like the orb is like purplish, purplish indigo-ish. The rest of it, I guess, is like kind of orange. I fully agree with this. I agree with that. Yes, yes. That is acceptable to me. Gallade again, half white, half green. They picked white. White. Dialga is blue as hell. <laughs> yes, it's, 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 that, like, the white parts aren't even white. They're like silver. It's, Dialga is so blue. It's blue dabba dee dabba die. Yes, that is, that is white. White with yellow. Yep, yep, yep. All right, back to a good stretch of colors that I think makes, and they ruined it. <laughs> this one is blue, this one is pink, this one is blue, this one is pink. Not a single one of these should be in the white. Like, yes, is the mustache white? Yes. This one doesn't have a mustache, so frillish, absolutely. But these, like even the, the the poofy pearls on this one are like have a pinkish tint. Hardcore disagree. White, yep. Yep, half white, half blue, they picked white, fair enough. White, what? This is not white. That is a tan, tan poof. Like the body is like bluish, pale, it's like desaturated purple or something. Rufflet shouldn't be here. <laughs> yep, white is good. Butterfree, they went by the wing color. Volcarona, they went by the body color. So what are you gonna do? Very, <laughs> very white. <laughs> uh, I feel like green or gray would have made more sense. Icy snow. Okay, yeah, these ones are uh, these ones are interesting because their flowers change color, but their actual bodies are always white. And when you get here, it gets a lot more green though, so I feel like floor just should have been moved to green. Man, it's just this thing's head. This these should be black. I feel like they've got a lot more black on them, black or gray, than white. Definitely white. Still white. Yep. Oh, these are pink. This is pink. I know it's got white on it, but that has a pinkish hue. This has a lot of pink on it. These should have been pink. White makes sense. Yep, I know it's got the the purple cloak, but most of its body is still white. Half and half, they picked one. Okay, yeah, I know it's got the floofs. It's got the white floofs, but it's also a lot of green. Very white, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Fun. Dipping dots of doom, but still a lot of white. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, yep. Uh, we're on a better stretch of ones that make sense. And kind of a little tan. A little into the tan category, but. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, there's multiple kinds of. Uh, oh, multiple forms of all creamy here that they're classifying as white, which is interesting. Yep, yep. Okay. And we are done with this one. The final color on the list is black and Mega Charizard X. Yeah, it's black and blue. <laughs> All right, these make sense. Snorlax, I feel like it's more blue. Maybe green. Doesn't look dark enough to be considered black in my opinion. Like look at Snorlax, look at Alolan Raticate. Very clearly different shades. Umbreon, perfect sense. Murkrow, uh, you're treading into blue, but a lot of times you see Murkrow looking more black, so Murkrow makes sense. Unknown, yes. Sneasel, yes. Yes, could have gone yellow. That's another half and half one. What? Spoink is clearly gray. What? Spoink is not black. That is, Spoink is gray. Dark enough, yeah. Claydol, I feel like a lot of times I've seen Claydol look more brown, but I guess that's fine. That is blue or gray, that is not black. At least this Shuffet art is not dark enough to be black. Bennett, really looking gray there. Looking gray. Looking gray, looking navy, like the same colors as Swellow, and Swellow is blue. Its head and tail are black. None of the rest of its body is. Mm -hmm. 
I guess. Okay, Munchlax is even, it's it's even lighter than freaking Snorlax. Munchlax is green, come on. Yeah, I'm good with Weavile. You're really gray in my opinion. You are very gray. Yes, yes, yes. You are a menagerie of colors. I guess the eyes are black, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess they're dark, they're dark enough. Like Chandelure, it's only like the arms, quote unquote, but I guess that's good enough. Zekrom, obviously. <laughs> Scatterbug, yeah, yeah. This one, they went for the black over, uh, okay, these two, okay, they're not green anymore. I guess, I guess that makes sense. There's a lot of, them. the green percentage went way down. Pick a peck, half and half, yeah, more black. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're almost to the end here. We're on a good stretch. And I think that's it. Yes, it is. All right, guys, so those were all of the colorations of Pokemon, officially, according to Pokemon Home. And like I said, there were a lot that didn't make much sense. Some of them were like kind of a middle of the ground area, but some of them like, particularly the ones that stand out to me are Bronzor and Milotic, really like, I know there are others too, but those really stick out to me as like just completely wrong. But thank you guys so much for watching and an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon, such as the wonderful Benjamin Lambert who gave me the idea for this video. If you wanna help support me in the same way as they are, which helps to combat the fluctuating nature of a YouTuber business, the link to do so is in the description below. Also, if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all!